Alright, hello people, today I will show you some ways to add multiple cursors to VS Code. So basically I've put the shortcut right there, and if they have a name you can find it there, and you can look for it in the command palette. For example, Control shift p then you type shortcuts, and in the shortcuts you just have to type the name right there. For example, add cursor below, and you will find it there. And if you don't like that key binding, just double click on it and put whatever you want in it. Okay? So the first one is Control Alt plus down or down or up. So Control Alt plus down and I can do whatever I want on multiple lines like, like that. Okay, so it's very, very useful. I use it a lot. Then you can use Control D to find another uh, well occurrence, I would say and it's called add selection to next find match. So for example, alt D and it will find just the different D right there. Be careful, for example, uh, if you have a word, for example, with div inside it, like division, well, it will just take that div right there. So it can be useful, but sometimes it can lead to some error. So be careful. Then you do have well, um, control shift, <laughs> control shift L select all matches. So it can be also nice from time to time, control shift L and it will really select everything. So be careful if you have a big page, it will really just select all the div, all the occurrences. And then what is really nice also is the alt click. Alt click, so just click somewhere and you can add it by hand, just well, wherever you want actually. <laughs> and then you can just start writing and it will write everywhere. So that's also very nice. So yeah, that's it basically, how to add some cursor on your page with VS Code. See you next time, bye.